what is up crazies so listen i apologize for this light over here being a little crazy so here's what i did i decided to go live again because i'm jacked up excited about this trailer um oh by the way i should have a video that just released for steelhead fishing so hopefully you guys like this kind of switch up in the content and i got a pretty exciting announcement coming up like real soon like about a adventure bass fishing quest thing that i am kind of uh uh, embarking on very soon. Right now, I'm getting ready to head to uh, Gunnersville. Got a Gunnersville tournament this weekend. We're filming an episode there. After Gunnersville, I head over to Nickajack for the first ever FLW KBF Joint Open, uh, which is a qualifying event for the kayak bass fishing, uh, the FLW KBF Cup at the Forest Wood or FLW Cup. So here's the thing though I'm taking this thing on the road for the first time, and I've been working on it for a couple days. I'm super excited. Uh, I loved my Intech Explore, but this pursuit is going to be right up my alley for getting off-road. I call this thing in the title an adventure trailer because that's exactly what it is. I'm about to take this joker uh, on some adventures. It's not going to be a parking lot or a campsite camper. It's going to be for boondocking, getting in the backwoods, getting into the places, and catching them where others can't, and then staying there to make life easier. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the trailer. Uh, again, leaving here going on the road for about nine days 10 days we're going to be vlogging uh my adventures starting thursday morning uh, i don't know how fast we're going to be able to get them out but we're going to vlog getting set up uh heading to a tournament running a tournament the behind the scenes pre-fishing getting out on the water bringing you guys kind of a behind the scenes of me shooting episodes of my show uh for sportsman channel wfn and fox sports and we just haven't done that yet and so been getting a lot of requests for it. We're going to do a lot of tips and tactics and techniques and things along the way, pulling the veil back, showing you guys a lot of the behind the scenes of making a TV show for fishing, how we do it, where we do it, why we do it, all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the trailer. Be sure to check out the other video that should have just released a few minutes ago or is going to release in a little bit uh, where I've got um, uh, Mr. Feltenberger from Fish USA walking us through the... Um, walking us through the actual uh, methods for fishing. Somebody just posted and said, I don't read the chats. I read my chats and answer to pretty much all of them that I can. It's just really hard to answer every post. So nice try, but I'm not that guy. So anyway, I do the best I can to answer as many comments as I possibly can, including the comments on these live videos. So if you hang out to the end, I'll actually do some Q&A uh, at the end. I'm going to make this quick. going to try to stay relatively short, but I got to give you guys the quick walk through this trailer. I was going to shoot a like an edited version of this thing, but I'm so excited about this thing and I'm running out of time before I get on the road with it that I kind of want to show you what I come up with. So here, let's take a, let's take a look. So basically this thing has got a uh, pretty cool interior, still doing some rigging in here. Uh, so I've got some tools left. Uh, as I talked about in the first video, got the power pole mounted to the wall. Actually added some extra um, uh, gear tracks. That's the Mighty Mount XL from Yak Attack and some Roto Grip. So now I've got basically three paddles, you know, one for me, one for one camera guy, and then a backup. And then also I'm going to bring another one for the other camera guy. Mounted a flashlight there up in the front. Actually, I'll show, I'll show you all that from the front. I uh, got my, my kite or my beds in here stacked. I'm going to turn them on their sides and mount them to the wall. I got myself a power strip mounted right here to the wall, zip tied that in. And that's basically just industrial strength Velcro. That way I can put all of my charging stuff back here for all of my camera equipment when I'm on the road right there in the corner. Uh, and it'll make that nice and easy. Uh, took some of the Yak Attack um, pad eyes, screwed them in, put some bungee in there. And then I've got my NRS Chinook PFD just basically right there when I open the door up. This is kind of the area that I'm going to get dressed. I did order one of those tents that goes off the back. So that way I can get dressed back here. I can sit back here and I've got a place to get out of the rain if it's raining and I don't have to sit inside the trailer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a little flip down door right here so I can sit right there and edit videos. And kind of have this be like a mobile office on the road, especially since I'm spending so much time on the road with this thing. I've got to be able to work. Um, that's just kind of part of the deal. Uh, got my high lift jack down here uh, right there that I'm trying to figure out how to mount up here. So when I get in those like off woods, off road, off out in the woods, back roads, middle of nowhere adventures, I've got the ability to uh, make sure that I don't get stuck. So anyway, not done much out here through my my YouTube channel URL or a, a direct link on there, name of the channel so that people can find it when I'm on the road. I've got a little KBF decal love down here just so people know who it is now let's take a look at the inside so again this is the intake this is the pursue 
uh, model. It's not the Explorer that I originally started with. So over here, I mounted one of these steel balls to mount my phone on, and then I mounted a flashlight, and I've got all my charging stuff there. Got my little suction cup there for doing live videos when I'm on the road. And really, the other cool thing that I've got going on back here is I created a rod rack in the roof. So basically what I did is just strung a bungee cord across there with pad eyes from Yak Attack. And then in the back, let me show you guys. Basically, I've got my reels and rods up here. That's a bungee. So all I gotta do is slip the tip up under there, slide the reel under, I'm good to go. Uh, I think this is 11 rods and I've got the ability to expand and put even more rods there. So I was pretty excited about that little, you know, thing that I came up with. I bought some rod racks and some other stuff. Oh, sorry about that. I bought some rod racks and some other stuff, but I felt like simple is the solution. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know, coming around the front, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to organize all of this, but I got my DZ box on the front. I've got my, my, my ax, my, basically my, my, def my, my cr really cool ax from, from Gerber. And this thing's got a pry bar at the end. And then my travel saw, my little trowel, got some shop towels, some tie down stakes for an awning that I just ordered to put on this joker so that even if I don't have the tent on the back, I can stretch the awning out. I can sit underneath it uh, and it makes things nice and cool. And then because I'm trying to stay on the diet on the road, I went ahead and bought this uh, Yeti cooler mounting setup. And uh, yeah, I bought it. I am sponsored by Yeti, but I was um, impatient and didn't want to wait to get one. So I just bought it. I uh, bought it at a some store locally and then um just mounted that on there because i wanted to be able to strap my cooler out there make use of available space and then when i'm on the road i can you know at convenience stores i can fill it up with ice or i can you know have access to it uh, if i need to pull over and make a meal it doubles as an extra kind of serving area and then it also adds to the setup so here's my drinks here's my serving table here's my kitchen and the really cool thing about this deal here is it's pretty straightforward this table comes off and goes on here uh, one of the things that i decided i'm going to do last night was i'm going to get these mount pads right here and i'm going to put two of them on the inside so when i'm sitting in the trailer i can actually put that table in there and use it as a, a computer desk or a place to edit videos and all of those things so I'm just busting my butt to try to get this thing squared away. Uh, I've got all my stuff to stay healthy on the road. These little deals right here are pretty cool in that you can just, I don't know if you can see that. You just take this, oh, let me take the cap off. Let me show you guys how this works because it's really cool. I've actually never used camping. I've never used these little travel bottles. Uh, I've always used the bigger ones. And, you know, these things are disposable. You know, you can basically pick them up anywhere, any Walmart, any campground. You don't have to worry about trading them out. And then simply what they do is they screw in to this little fitting right here. So that bottle just screws in. Whoops. It's kind of hard one-handed holding the camera, but I'll get her done. And so, come on, chat. Oh, you got to, there we go. It helps if you put it in the hole. So I'm going to um, screw this thing in. Good Lord, let me set this tripod down real quick. Y'all can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So all you gotta do is screw that joker down. Once you get it screwed down, then you're fired for making coffee. Uh, I'm doing this thing as part of my diet, eating a lot of bone broth. And so this is gonna make it real easy. You just turn this thing to light, hit your little fire thing right there. Maybe I didn't do it right. I think this might be empty. I might've grabbed the wrong one. So anyway, the ticket is you screw that thing in. You gotta make sure it's got fluid in it. This is probably the one right here that's good. And then uh, you turn it on, hit that button, and you are good to go. Pretty straightforward. Then you can cook, call, you can make coffee, you can boil water, you can do your bone broth. You've got your Dometic cooler down here. This table, like I said, goes over here. I don't wanna take up too much time because I did just wanna do a quick walkthrough. Nothing really going on out here. I still got to work on moving the tubes um, up here and see if I can get that to work. I'm still trying to figure that out. So anyway, a couple little quick, you know, modifications, rigging, similar to what makes kayak fishing so cool. This trailer is now almost ready to go and I will get you guys future updates and this thing will be kind of the star of the show uh, as I get on the road and then a lot of people ask about the walkthrough of this dude too. So I'll give you guys a full walkthrough of this thing down the road. I got that decked system in there that allows me to really, here, let me give you a sneak peek. It allows me to really organize my stuff. 
I can keep all my stuff squared away. I can also put my DZ boxes up top of there, all my gear. Really makes it to where everything is nice and easy to stay organized on the road. And there are some adventures ahead to be had. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna jump off of here. Actually, oh, I said I was gonna answer questions. So let me do this. Let me answer the next three questions that pop up. Awesome man, looks great from Pro Angler Hub. Well, that's not a question, but I'll, Florida Panhandler said, thanks for sharing. All right, so let me get a question. Let me get three questions and I'll stay on here and answer the next three questions as long as they come relatively quickly because I said I was gonna stay under 10 minutes on this video and we're already past that. So come on, bring the questions, baby. MSRP, so the MSRP on this one, as it sits with all the features is 16,000 with the Dometic air cooler, the kitchen, the Max Air vent, and all of the upgraded tires, rims, accessories. So pretty much the way that this one sets, the way that I picked it up from the store is um, uh, 16,000 and it is about 1,800 pounds. So, sorry, I missed that question. Should that thing be towed by a BMW X5? It can be towed by dang near anything. It's towed very easy with Christie's um, SUV. And so when you really look at what I do and how much I travel, this is basically 160 nights in a hotel room and it's paid for itself. Not just paid for itself, but it's really making money. So it's about 1800 pounds. Uh, what do you think the weight will be with when you are done? The, the gross payload for this thing, I think is under 24, 2200. So I'm gonna keep it around that. So I'll have kayaks on top and then I'll have basically four to six DZ boxes on the inside. Uh, and then my tackle. So it's not going to be real stupid heavy, um, but we're going through like a major kind of reorganization here at the headquarters at KBF. And I got all my, my gear back here from my last trip and I got gear over here. And then I just brought in some shelving about to do some more stuff. So we are going to get this thing squared away. Last question. I'm gonna jump off of here. JS Fishing said, what aftermarket box did I put on the hitch? So the aftermarket box that I put on there is the box from DZ. So this thing comes with diamond plate tread. So I thought the diamond plate tread looked really good. The footprint's the same. I like the lid, the way it covers a little better. Uh, and there's the box that actually came with it uh, as an option. So really you can either buy it without the box and then add this DZ box. Uh, that's the D-angle, the DZ uh, triangle tongue box. Um, or if you get it with that box, you can upgrade to the DZ box. Uh, really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that other box away. Somebody can make good use of it, or we might just turn it into a seat against the wall here in the new KBF headquarters. So anyway, listen guys, thanks for all your support. Go watch that video where I'm talking about, uh, where actually I turned it over to, to, to Mr. Feldenberger, let him talk about um, steelhead fishing. Comment on this video, comment on that video, and let me know what you think about it. I'm going to go live as much as I can. I'm going to try to go live from the water, show you guys some in-depth, um, video tutorials of how to use electronics, how to find fish, conditional stuff, like why we are doing what we're doing, when we're doing it. And I think that people are gonna enjoy that. One of the things that we run into having problems with is just bandwidth to be able to get everything we've gotta get done, done. And a lot of times by the time I finish something, it's out of season, out of date. So we're working on a Wi-Fi solution where I could take you on the water with me. We can do some live fishing trips. You can ask questions. Uh, I can switch back and forth from camera to camera. And we're pretty stoked about doing all that stuff. So anyway, hope you guys um, love the little quick walkthrough. I'm going to do another update right before I get this thing on the road on Thursday. And then we're going to do some vlogs, filming for 10 days straight. So you guys comment in the comment section below. Watch the community tab because I'm going to post another what are your questions on there. And I'm going to answer those. And we're going to get this whole thing cranked up. Uh, you know what? I'm not a big, you know, focus on the subscriber count thing, but there's no reason that this channel doesn't have a hundred thousand subscribers. So y'all do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, share my channel with other folks so we can help teach them how to fish, get them fired up about fishing, excited about kayak fishing. And you know what? Let's focus on hitting this hundred thousand subscriber mark. One thing I can promise you I'm never going to do. I'm never going to focus on the next 60,000 and forget about the 60,000 that got me to where I'm at. So y'all keep me honest on that trying to get the uh, the whole fitness thing going, getting less fat, more swolt, all that. Dude, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but I'm getting pretty jacked up, living my best life, focusing on Christ, focusing on getting centered in everything that I do, spending more time with the family, less time on social media, but still doing the best I can to thank those and support those that have helped me get to where I'm at. So love y'all. See you next time. Smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the channel with somebody else who might like it.